The word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, or rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. So great is our privilege in this unique dispensation of the church age, termed out as Alekene and having been given for us the royal of priesthood. That great royalty of priesthood which has not been given for them because of the blue laws which they used to follow in the period of dispensations, particularly of the age of Israel. that it was not a lawful for a man to clear or to make a person to be cured on the Sabbath. Because they used to not even do the work because it was a work for the entire rest. They have changed their minds to do that work which could have been absolutely pure from the word of the Lord to do, which is good. And they have hardened their hearts so much, though it is a good for thing to be done, they would let it go, being strict ritual adherence rather than obeying which is mercy and kindness in the sight of the Lord. The same incident occurred over a deceased man in Luke 14, 2 and 3. When the Pharisees and the lawyers were being asked, is it lawful to do this thing? They were really might be shocked. How can he be the Son of God, or how can he be a prophet or a wearer of God, can do and disobey God's command? But you know the miracle what Lord has done there. And the lesson what we learn from that is the freedom of the priesthood what we are enjoying today. We are not really restricted that we have to rebound only on these days and Saturday or Sunday it is a rest for us to be rebounding now. The privacy of the priesthood which is given for us, why and that importance of great freedom bestowed upon us is what you and I need to understand, dear brethren. The privacy of the great freedom under Christ in this unique dispensation of the church age so that you should not even lose a single breath or a single second to devil but rather you have to purchase the time by using rebound 1 John 1 9 and that is required the privacy of your priesthood and that royal priesthood is a great commission given to each and every believer that you are not only a royal priesthood but a royal ambassador for Christ and that great royal priesthood is what you take less than a second to rebound and get back into fellowship so that the shifting gears of the angelic conflict could be much more effective for you. And in this shifting gears of the angelic conflict, those Satan is running around to allure you or to obscure you like a roaring lion and to consume you off. It is purely the ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, to tell to you and to give you the information concerning the church age. Because greater is the one that is in us than the one who is in this world. And not only it is going to give you the information, Lord God, the Holy Spirit will take you and search you diligently through the scriptures and cause you to become the fivefold effect of a spiritual mature believer in this unique dispensation of the church age. The spiritual maturity when a believer reaches to the maximum glorification of Christ is the ultimate, dear brethren, wherewith you and I have been called to the praise of his glory in his grace. That great truth of ultima, which is not being told today, the personal impact, the historical impact, international impact, as a missionary, and every believer has been called to become a missionary, do you know that? Missionary is a person who has been a spiritually mature believer who knows the doctrine 
and wherever he goes, he can spread the fragments. Either a rose kept in a bedroom, or in a kitchen, or in a hall, it gives the same fragments. Exactly, the believer who has been mature enough in the word of the Lord will be a same impact either in the country where he resides or to the country where which he goes, because he has the burden of Christ, not just to evangelize the people and tell them to believe in Christ, but to make them to be perfect and complete in the knowledge of our Lord, by looking upon those people to whom at the moment of salvation, Lord gives a bona fide gift, and that bona fide gift taken into force, and to train them up, the pastor teacher, and leave the congregation to tell them what is exactly to the praise of the worship of becoming a spiritually mature believers in Christ. So this international impact is of great value, and that's why in India we do have some of the believers who are absolutely spiritually mature. And that is the result of the great missionary work, followed by William Carey. In the first century, it was Apostle Thomas. In the 17th century, it was William Carey. But right now, in the 20th century, we need to have men who can rightly divide the word of truth for the inculcation of Bible doctrine. And why do we find so much of apostasy, not only in my country, like India, even in, even in every other part, including the client nation, for my Lord, which is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to him, the USA, is purely the negligence of Bible doctrine. Negligence and the rejection of ice concept in the pulpits. The isagogical, categorical, and exegetical word which has to be communicated in the pulpits, because of it, the pure negligence they have gone throughout. And who will stand in the 20th and the 21st century in my country, India? Who will follow me? To leave behind this international impact, not only to this world, even in the angelic conflict, and even in the, spirit, and even in the heritage impact which could follow for us when we become a spiritually mature believers in the knowledge of Christ. Dear brethren, until and unless Lord gives you the bona fide gift of a pastor teacher, he cannot come and occupy the pulpit. And until and unless you know the seriousness of the condition to use Rebound 1 John 1 9 in the privacy of your priesthood, you can never know and you can never learn the spiritual phenomena which has been given for us in eternity past. This great spiritual phenomena which has not been made known among the pulpits today, the church age. Doctrine of unique spiritual life. This mystery doctrine has been paralyzed and it has been caused to dead and buried because of the ignorance of some men who have really lost the responsibilities upon their shoulders who have to be the ministers, including the so called bishops, decans, and archdecans, who do not even know the real value why they have been called as bishops and archdecans. But, dear brethren, if you have really an earnest appeal to the Lord to know the doctrine and to take and to look back into the consideration to the praise of the glory of Christ, then the Lord will definitely fulfill the desires of your heart. To know Him, to become an invisible hero, and to look around why is the importance of the royal priesthood, not restricted as those Sabbath where they were not been allowed to cure that leaper, but Lord cured. And we have not been restricted to rebound only on some particular days, but rather each and every breath of your life you can use that rebound, which is not a license to sin, but a license to serve back the great Lord, to be in the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, to live in the Spirit, to walk in the Spirit, and purchase the time to the work of glorification of Christ, so that each and every believer could be made thoroughly perfect and complete in this unique dispensation for invisible heroship, and not for invisible villains. Dear brethren, the time is very short for us. The responsibility and the load laid down upon us is very large. And do not worry, that load will not be carried by you, because our Lord said, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. That yoke which is easy and that burden which is absolutely light is of great value which you and I need to care. And that great value which you and I have to care is purely the ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, not to be grieved, not to be squelched, and not to be lied. 
So dear brethren, which way you want to go, you decide. In the next step, we shall continue our discourse. Father, we are grateful for the privilege that was given to our fellowship with you through the word. Help us to use effectively the mental ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, through the privacy of our priesthood by confession of our sins. The restriction of the sabbatical code, wherewith they were thinking it could be only for a few days, or on that day they have to take rest. But we, the church age believers, we are into the intensified stage of the angelic conflict, and we thank thee for that to place us in this conflict at this intensified stage and use effectively to the praise of your glory that great ministry of rebound which you have given for us so that we can be controlled of the spirit, live in the spirit, walk in the spirit and deal the fruit of the spirit by not growing it, squelching it, but looking unto thee to the praise of your glory to look and to understand thy wisdom so that Lord Jesus Christ might be glorified. To this extent we pray that Lord God, the Holy Spirit will enlighten us and make those things which are readily available for us to take as a challenge and to live a life worthy unto thee. To thee, to the maximum glorification unto Christ. For we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen.